All right, guys, I'm back. I've, uh, I've picked up a, a rudimentary weapon, and I'm trying to retrieve my gear. And we'll see how that works out for us. But right now, there's probably still a lot of bad guys around, and that's not the right way to go. Okay, sorry, just adjusting my headset. Uh, yeah, look at him. He sees me. We really need this stuff, though. Okay. Get it. I'm just gonna run, grab what we can. Shit. No. No! Oh boy. I gotta run and get out. Oh, this isn't. Ah! Shh. We really need our stuff back. Like, this isn't. This isn't negotiable. And now we don't even have an axe to defend ourselves. Ah! Oh. I had so much stuff with me of that, uh, but it should be easier. I'm kind of out of that hole right there. Uh, the only thing is we got slowness. It's never fun. Uh, and we don't have any armor. So here we need to come up with a strategy. And I guess the first item on that strategy is don't die. Generally, generally a pretty good thing to keep in mind not dying, um, where is my hole? Down here, okay. Oh, not, not much to say until I get that. I'm very, very determined. This is, you know, a tunnel vision kind of focus, which is not very good. That, that was death number four, by the way. I'm, I'm not playing as carefully as I usually do, but I mean, this is high risk, high reward sort of business, and I need that stuff. Very much. Very much. Alright. The thing is, they probably haven't despawned. Uh, the monsters, that is. Well, the, the way that... Well, they definitely haven't. The way Minecraft works is, even if a, uh, even if a chunk is not loaded, it saves the position of all the mobs that were in there when it was last unloaded. So, they're still down there waiting for me. Alright. Alright, we gotta armor up, and it'll save us a little, you know, give us a few hits of resistance. Um, let's see if there's any other stuff we forgot down this way. It's odd that I'm not seeing the guys that killed me before. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's not usual. Okay, we're uh, running away, running away. <laughs> we c cannot afford to stay down here much longer. Four deaths. Mostly because I was being careless. Well, actually, you could kind of chalk all of them up to being careless. That's, uh... That's, that's how they get you. You, you run in head first, <laughs> and then uh, they have they're they're ready for that. The monsters are, if they're not ready, they're at least more powerful than you. <laughs> you can easily overtake a surprise. I should get some supports in here. I think I was trying to uh, cave this in actually, so I could. Get a little more rock. Caving in is actually a very effective way to mine up stone, because uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, co cobblestone is for stone, and when when cobblestone drops, it's uh, you know you can pick up the entire cobblestone block. Okay, so we're back. We're uh, gonna recover our strength. Pick some tomatoes. Did we get all of our tools back? I, I, I can't tell. I, I'm thinking that we did. It looks like we did. It's just kind of not in order. Uh, we have our steak, got bones, chisels, vessels. I probably did. Combine these helmets. Oh, I can't. I guess I guess Minecraft mechanics don't work with armor. 
Uh, you could probably hear stuff going on outside my window. It's it's a very nice day today, but and I wanted to have the window open, but unfortunately, I live outside of a bus terminal, a major road, and a uh, police department. <laughs> so things get a little noisy at times. Okay, let's see if our tannin is ready. It is. Okay, so... Uh, where did I stash that leather? Here we go. Can make all sorts of new material. Let's get all that in there, seal it up. Yay. Okay, so... Let's, let's get ourselves organized. We'll put our cast away. Uh, I did mine a bit up before. Hmm, what to do? Should I should I smelt up some actual bronze? Seems like something I could do. Nah, we were going to we we're gonna build today. That's right. So let's actually get going to do that. I'm, uh, I'm not going to build on the face of a wall this time. Uh, when I build my second house, I usually kind of go for the, the wide open areas. <laughs> uh, this house is... Uh, it's primarily where I'm going to be crafting. And... Here, let's just grab all these. Uh, I'm flattening out the land over here. So build upon it. I mean, we're kind of going to be against the wall, but we're going to be away from it. I'm just clearing this area to give me more room to work with. Okay, so let's just take enough of this out. Alright. Alright. Okay. Oh, we got some, uh, some vegetables that are ready to be picked. Excellent. I think these are green beans. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, and some more squash. Lots and lots of green beans. That's kind of what I like to see. Let's, uh. Four, five, green beans give you a lot of food, but I don't think they're terribly filling. Uh, let's just do a line along here. Put this in our food chest. Look at all those green beans we got. <laughs> uh, we're not running out of food anytime soon. All right. At least until... Not until we switch to... Well, that's 7. Or when, or I'm thinking actual Minecraft numbers. Build 78, they were calling it. That's when food decay is incorporated. I don't know what we're going to do about that, because... Uh, each each stack of like each individual piece of food has to be like it's some individual thing. So here we got a little bit of land now. Let's kind of plan out what we want this to look like. Oh, we need to update this chunk or something. Look at this. Look at this. It's all different colors. Uh, or maybe it's these chunks that need to be updated. Yeah, okay. Well, what season is it right now? I'm curious. It's late summer. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What? I want this to be a fairly big house. Uh, what sort of rooms do we want? We're going to want a kitchen in this house. A crafting room. And a bedroom, presumably. Uh, I'm gonna just take a bit more of this side, make it look a bit more natural. There we go. Hmm. I like the idea of doing kind of a T-shape sort of thing, kind of along this way. So I'll. Like, what I like doing is just starting out like this. Gonna go across so many tiles. 
probably also going to want a storage section here. If, hmm. I could probably make the crafting area and the storage section mostly the, mostly the same. I could also have an upstairs on this place to make this a, a two-story dwelling. So it's level. I'm probably going to want to go one more out this way on each side. Then we're going to start going in like this. Three. One, two, three. Like that. I'm going to keep the inside corner like that. And mm, that's a little too narrow. Don't you think? I think it is. So let's pick this up and move kind of one out on each direction. Oh, this is an even number. Even number is, I can work with, I can work with this. This is gonna be my main house, we can have a double door. Normally I like building with odd numbers. It's an easier line of symmetry in this game to work with. Do, do, do. Do. So we got our, uh, our penis, or it's not a penis shaped building. It's just kind of an orb. Uh, and we're gonna top it off over here. Right? Okay. So there we go. Uh, there's no point in laying down foundation in this game, but I might as well do it anyways. <laughs> uh, what I like doing, uh, see, I like what Jack did over here with the. Uh, the, uh, the, the vertical pulls like that. It makes it seem more... Well, it kind of breaks it up. It makes it look a little better like that. Uh, and... A wood... Let's see, what wood would be the best... What wood would you like to use? <laughs> hmm. Let's see what this chestnut looks like. Oh, I'm liking the way this looks. Look at that. So I'm gonna find more of that. That's that's a nice color to uh, accent it. And oh, our our inventory is quite full. So what I'm gonna do is put a lot away. We don't have much room to put our inventory away, unfortunately. Uh, what I did right here was make a lot of this, and I'm thinking. I'm gonna use granite as our main main block. This is marble. This is granite. They look pretty similar, but granite, you might be able to tell, is a bit more kind of whitish gray. Uh, it, it's subtle. It's very subtle, but trained eyes can see it. Uh, so, basically, what I'm gonna do is make a lot of bricks because bricks are an excellent material to make. Uh, this. Got a lot of empty vessels, but I don't want to work with vessels right now. So we're gonna put a lot of this away. I don't need most of these tools. Uh, well, actually, I might might wind up needing a lot of them. Let's see this carrot. Do we have carrots? I don't think we have any carrots. Let's turn this into seeds. Carrots are very good for your eyes. I don't think they are in this game, but uh, they're full of vitamin A that uh, don't actually let you see in the dark, but I mean, it, it helps with your nighttime vision, in a sense. You see, your eyes create a, a chemical called rhodopsin, which is synthesized from, from or I think vitamin A, it reacts with vitamin A or something like that. Okay, that's still sealed. I wish you could mix cement in these, but uh, the best we're gonna. We also need flux. I forgot about that. It's not flux. I think most of our flux is in this anvil. No. Here. Oh, that's like nothing. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to take all this and turn it into flux. Don't need that much, but I'm still gonna make a ton. <laughs> If only buckets could stack, this would be so much easier. Okay, so we're gonna take the lime water, 
And we also need sand. Thankfully, this recipe creates a lot of mortar. Otherwise, it might just take too much time. That wouldn't be worth it. So we're going to take this, we're going to take this, we're going to put them there, take the sand. I'm only going to make 64 mortar for right now. It'll be plenty. You know what would be nice? Uh, in, in the next version, they completely have done away with the crafting table. I know, shocking, right? Uh, what they're going to do instead is have everything craftable. Well, they're not completely getting rid of the crafting table. I, I kind of misspoke there. What they are doing is... Oh, see, look how nice that looks. I'm... Don't think I'm 100% on... And how it works with that wood in particular. Eh, I guess so. I guess so. And I'm gonna make the floors out of pine. Here's our pine. So. I think the conversion needs to be different for sawing. You get eight planks for every board you saw. I think it used to be. 12, which would be a nicer conversion ratio, so, yeah, see how that looks? Okay, so, foundation doesn't really matter, uh, like I said before, but, oh, wow, it's really getting loud out now. Here, I'm gonna actually close the window, give me a sec. <laughs> Should be a little bit quieter now. Uh, I should fill these back in with dirt. Uh, I just got rid of most of my dirt. <laughs> this uh, this is basically how I build. Uh, just kind of off the off the seat of my pants. I I do what's look what looks right mostly. Uh, I I generally try to go for interesting shapes, but uh, not always possible. Mm, look at that, though. I, I, I do like the way granite looks. This, I think, is a very good decision. Uh, right. So we're gonna... Put that in. Part of my building kind of mantra is never waste time on corners. Especially interior corners. You don't see them from the outside. And uh, it provides a lot more space. If you don't. So we're going to fill in this line as well. That line, and we'll fill in this entire thing. I get, uh, get covered in uh, that as well. And we'll come around the corner like this. The rest of this to do. Now it's going to take a lot of wood. Uh, it's going to take a lot of wood to fill in the floor here. I'm kind of. Yeah, I think I'm going to want kind of a central staircase sort of thing going up into uh, uh, kind of like a balcony on the top. And then there'll be a room right above here, and then it's going to be my bedroom. And there'll be a window looking out to that way. And also, kind of a, a rear window over there. Um, not sure if I'm making myself terribly clear. Now that I have sand, actually, I can make, I can make windows. Uh, and uh, making glass in this game is kind of wonky. Probably going to change it eventually, but basically... what? No, 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 no. 
wrong. There we go. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna just fill it up with sand because we actually have a lot of sand comparatively. And we're gonna strike it. Uh, and we'll, we'll just return to that periodically. Don't need too much. Oh yeah. Uh, right now I think I'm going to keep the floor as dirt right now. Uh, just kind of work on uh, well I kind of described what I wanted to do so I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and gather more materials and I will see you soon okay guys I'm, I'm back and uh, this, this sand isn't cooking as fast as I thought it would I've only gotten four out of it and it's taken up a lot of coal so uh, it needs to be burning faster, basically. Uh, so a way that we can do that is to create a bellows. Uh, what, to make a bellows, you need three leather and some planks. Uh, it's the planks on the top and the bottom. These are kind of like the board. And the leather is kind of like the bag that you use to make it. So here we got a bellows. And what we can do with this, I'm going to just knock out this piece. Or knock out this piece, too. And we're gonna just place our bellows like this. We're gonna place our bellows like this. And we can, it's got a nice little animation like that. And it'll just really jump up the heat and make the glass a lot faster. So here, we're gonna just put that in there. Uh, the thing about this is because it burns hotter, the fuel burns faster, so you really run through a lot of it. You can see how high I got after I pumped it up a little bit, so it's boom, 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 boom. There we go, and here, let's kind of move this down here, save a little bit of energy. I'm not sure how much energy it actually saves, but yeah, we got a bit of glass like that. And they need to get past bright red. It looks like hot, hot. Let's keep the hotter ones near the bottom. And uh, I just wanted to show you that tip for uh, making the furnace. And uh, well, also I'll show you what I've done so far. Right here, I I built it up another layer. These are kind of the the window plans that I that I want to have. Not sure about a window right here, actually, now that I think about it. What I might do instead is have two staircases up and kind of the work center down here. Or I might have stairs going up like on either side right here. That's that's kind of different. I have the entire work and storage station down here. Still have the loop over there and the bedroom right here. I think that's a, that's the best plan. I think it'll look interesting. Uh, so I'll, I'll just continue to make some glass and I'll be back with you in a second. Hey guys, it's uh, kind of raining now. Ooh, oops. Uh, but what I wanted to do was show you uh, how to make the final pieces of armor. I'm gonna. Sh oh, there's. there's uh, ah! Yeah! Oh boy, we wasted a, a piece of armor there. Again, uh, I was going to show you how to make sure of that. Oh boy, uh, let's let's uh, let's bunk with Jack tonight. Oh boy, we got some pretty nasty lightning too. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna log out soon, uh, and you'll see the finished house product uh, in the beginning of next episode. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm also getting very close to the time where I'm need to be wearing these, so here, we're gonna make this. This is the, uh, shit, did you hear that? Oh, really, really rough thunderstorm, but uh, the chest piece is really the most important uh, 
armor that you can make in the game. It goes through so much wear because um, the way that attacking works in this game is that monsters have a random chance to hit a, your, like, one of your body parts, your, your head, your chest, your legs, your feet. Uh, and the chest has the highest chance of being hit. Go figure. It's, uh, it's, it sounds very, very scary. Yeah, it's very spooky. Oh, stop music. You're really not fitting the theme. It's, it's, it's too miserable out. This is nice music. Gonna make a couple of doors, so. How'd you spawn there? It's not dark. Alright, we're gonna put that one there. And we're going to lure the spider over here. Hey, look at that. We got doors. Stop that. It's, it's not very nice, Mr. Spider. Like I said, let's uh, let's room with Jack tonight. I don't have nearly enough levels to be fighting these guys, although the armor does help. Uh, night, guys. Bye.